Hi, welcome to the Unique Samurai Plus One video podcast. This must be about episode 20 or 21. And someday there will be more of these than there were expected knitter. I think I recorded 35, 40 of those. And, uh, well, not 40, probably 35 of those. And every single week I say, hi, and I want to say expected knitter. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it has been a very rough week and a very rough day for me, but um, I hadn't spoken with you guys in a while, and Steve had an idea that, you know what, you love talking about your knitting. That should give you some energy, so go sit down and talk. So, probably a more subdued episode for me. No show notes, just showing you what's coming on and off my needles these days, so... And Izzet has come to sit with me, so she's on my lap purring away. You might hear her. Before anyone asks, this is a uh, old schlubby... There's a stain on that blanket. Okay, sorry. Old schlubby around the house sweater. I did not knit it. It's, um, I'm pretty sure it's from Kohl's. Anyways, but it has a very nice pattern. It buttons on one side and has cables on the front. I thought about knocking it off. I wore it to Rhinebeck. One year, oh boy, I got stopped probably ten times. Don't ever wear non-hand knit sweaters to Rhinebeck or any fiber festival would be my advice. If you're going to wear non-hand knit or non, yeah, non-hand knit, wear fleece. Wear a sweatshirt. Don't wear a store-bought sweater to save your life. So, anyway, see, I feel better already. You see the energy? It's picking up. It's coming. So, <laughs> yeah, I had a really bad day at work today. And I left going, well, I still have a job. I have an adorable son who loves me and a husband who's supportive. So there are good things in my life and work is not everything. So anyways, uh, it's been a while since we talked. And I'm just going to apologize right up front. I don't have the computer. I don't have the iPad. I didn't write show notes. I'm not doing any prize drawing. So I'm sorry. I'm going to extend the Highland Handmaiden for another week. If you want to enter another book, another suggestion to give yourself two prize entries, that's fine with me. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> but I'll be drawing that next time we chat. So, first off the needles this past week... I know, it's not as much fun since he doesn't have... I don't, I, the camera's at a different spot. I'm not sure how much you could see. He doesn't have his teeth yet, but this is my toothy row. Um, I thought I was doing a good job putting the tooth line in the middle of the mustard-colored stripe. I don't know how well it shows up. I'm hoping it'll be better. I got the felt. I was just waiting for him to dry because... This is three-use twisted and fiber yarn alternated. So that's a self-striping yarn. That is, it's these colors right here on the foot, the mustard, the fire red, and the electric blue. Um, I alternated that with the green because I knew I didn't have enough. <laughs> Love those legs and the feet. Um, I did a lot of mods on this that I'm not sure paid off in the end. Excuse me. I, um, like, I don't like the way the, I opted to, I don't even remember. Bah. <laughs> I don't like the way the sides of his butt look. Like, that seam doesn't look as nice as I'd like. It might look better if I weren't such a perfectionist. Or if I had actually followed the pattern instructions on how to do that. I do like that I place stitch markers, the locking ones, for where the arms are, so they are at exactly the same point. I'm certain about that. Less certain about the eyes. Should have noted that for myself. I kitchenered the top together, so instead of three needle bind off, that's what it was, three needle bind off, I kitchenered and I used red, so he's got a red seam on the top of his head. I like it. It's a little detail. I put in some stripies on the legs. The feet are adorable. Um, overall, they came out pretty good. Pretty good. So he's dry. Oh, the reason why he was wet is that I know that the minute I hand him to Roland, it'll be in the mouth. And um, when I knit with the yarn, the blue was coming off of my hands. So I wanted to give it a good soak and wash and plenty of time to dry. It kind of feels damp, and it's been two days around the eyes. I wonder if the safety... 
eyes are doing something there, but very fun. I finished it and I was like, what am I going to knit for my next monster? So, so here is what will be the next monster. It is Irving, the Icebox Monster. I think he's completely adorable, right? And so I let Roland pick out the yarn. Oh, going off camera. Coming back on camera, right? And so I had all my um, like leftover sock yarn out and I pulled out all these little balls and I'm just holding them for him and he's reaching for colors he liked and colors he didn't like. So this was his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> he went for this one. And then the other one that he was completely drawn to out of like 20 colors was this little bit of pink. It was bigger. So I cast on using size ones for the main body of Irving in the green in the teal color. And I was planning, can you guys see is it? She's like front and center. Pay attention to me here. Um, <laughs> I was planning to do the hot pink for contrasting. Well, yesterday was another fun day at work and I came home and I was like, oh, everything that is stocking it and circular and in the round and no thinking is off my needles. What can I do? And I grabbed the pink and I said, I'll knit him a friend. So I have two and they'll be opposite each other and it'll be completely adorable. So I cast on, cause this is like 25 rows of just stocking it in the round, which was perfect. Exactly what I needed last night. So <laughs> did you want to see? I'm sorry. Is it just really has her opinion here? So, <laughs> so I did that. And then I also have what the eye patch and the other ear. Those are also in pink. And when I finished, when I finished, I have this much left. So that's definitely not enough to finish the bottom half, do the feet, and do the arms on the second one. So I'm not sure if the second one's going to survive or if it's going to turn into the bottom. Because I really like those two colors together. It is um, Baby Ull Dale yarn. So maybe I will go to... The LIS tomorrow and see if she has any more of this hot pink. I had like three skeins of this. There's a bird outside chirping it. It's kind of weirding me out. Maybe it's a chipmunk. I don't know. Okay, that's odd. Anyways, um, I don't usually record in the evening like this. So, I don't know if I'll rip it out and then go back because I really like the hot pink or what. But I've had the three skeins, sorry, of the of the hot pink for years and tried to use them up every chance I get. And surprisingly, I don't have a lot of tolerance for knitting with hot pink yarn. I don't know. I love red, but pink? Because take it or leave it. So that is that. And this is is it. <laughs> Other thing that's off the needles, the um, I was doing like a little race against myself for knitting Roland a couple new hats. I was trying to complete both of them in April to give myself a deadline. They were knit on US size 2 or 3s using Patton's Croy. This one is the stripe one. The um, sock effects one is also finished, but um, yesterday when Roland went to my mother's house, she wanted a hat with ear flaps. I don't have any ear flap hats, but that hat is very large on him, so it would definitely cover his ears. So that went as well. So I finished this one, I think, on Friday, and I finished that one on Saturday. So here's one of the finished hats. It fits him. It's a cute little beanie. This one's a beanie. The other one is more, um, oh, there you have some is it action. <laughs> All right, little one. <coughs> You'll go sit over there. Um, yeah, so this one's more of a beanie, and the other one has a rolled up brim. Maybe I'll insert a picture of it here. That one came off the needles, and then you may recall that I said I had three shawls on the needles, and I'm marching towards my goal of completing one a month, basically. Twelve shawls in... Um, 2012. And last time we spoke, I'm not going to say last week because I'm not a weekly podcast. I'm uh, every 10 days. Every 10 days. Um, last time I said, so we've got the Maluka, which I did, I think, four rows on. It's, it's abysmal progress. I'm sorry. I'll do better for next time. Melody, I promise. 
Um, so I've got the Maluka that's moving forward slowly. And I also had the Serrated, which is a pattern by Stockinette Zombies, Megan Williams. Megan just run it. Um, and I told you that I thought for sure that would be the next completed shawl. Well, I remembered, here it is in my hand, all bunched up, yarn barf. Um, I remembered on April 30th that Mother's Day is like two, was two weeks away at that time. And I had cast on the Age of Brass and Steam shawl as a Mother's Day gift for my mother. So I needed to finish that. So I did. <laughs> it was uh, Sunday morning. We got up, we went and got coffee, the little Robin and I. And I knew it was going to be a stockinette slog here through this solid section. I haven't blocked it, so it's a little messy here, rolling and all that. But, um, so, went to get coffee, stopped at Redbox, right? Because I needed good action movie to get me through just, like, I don't want to pay attention to what I'm doing. I love my podcasts, but that's not distracting enough. Nothing good streaming on Netflix, so I got two movies. One was okay, the other was abysmal. <laughs> I got the um, Tom Cruise Mission Impossible because I had heard all the hype about him hanging off. This is it, meowing. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like the trouble child, like the youngest cat wants all the attention. Uh, I have glasses on now, but I didn't before. Oh well, glasses it is. <laughs> um, she, nope, not her. What was it? movie. Oh, all the hype about him hanging off this giant skyscraper and he did it himself, not with, or he did some part of it. Maybe he had stunt, he must have had some stunt doubles or, I don't know, it would be really scary. So anyways, I watched that and I swear the sparks were flying off my needles as I was knitting. Like 10.30 or 10 o'clock, Roland went down for his nap. I closed the shades in the living room. I felt like such a deviant oh close to shades put on a movie and just sat there and like drank my coffee and did my knitting and then he woke up from his nap pause played with him for a few hours oh she's back <laughs> played with him and then he went down for his afternoon nap play shades yeah so i was able to bang this thing out out so um this is the age of brass and steam it is knit with dream and color smooshy with cashmere it is the softest oh my god i don't know how well the color is going to show because it is dark we don't have natural light to help us out here but it's this beautiful purple um purple navy tan color i would call it mostly it's navy though the let's see mods because i did make some so that pattern is knit typically with DK weight yarn. It has three of these sections with the garter eyelet portion. I opted to make it four. I used US size four instead of eights. Yep, four instead of eights. And then instead of making the three sections the same size, I made each of my four sections progressively larger. So the first one was seven. The next section was 10, the next was 13, and the last was 16 repeats, pattern repeats long. So um, definitely a great mindless pattern. Lots of stock in it. But um, I think once it blocks, it's going to be great. Right now, if I get my fingers to the point, yeah, it's definitely going to block out to my wingspan. So it should be a nice long shawl for her. I've knit her one other shawl. It's this lacy brown thing. So this is very different. This will match her eyes perfectly. And um, it's a little more plain, a little less dressy. More of an everyday shawl. So I think she's really going to like it. So I need to block that and leave in my hands. But surprise, surprise, another shawl's done, but it's not the one I promised. <laughs> The one I promised, uh, unfortunately, got set aside because I was like, ah, speed knitting. So the serrated, I, th I must have done some work since you last saw it. It's It can't possibly not got, have gotten some love. Big breath. <laughs> and because this isn't the usual recording, prep, thinking, I'm dropping things on the floor. No, because it's not my usual prep, the camera keeps arguing with me about whether or not we're recording. <laughs> I didn't, 
have time to charge up the battery ahead of time. So you may have noticed it cut in and you may not. So this is my serrated on, um, I'm able to show it to you because my, the age of brass and steam came off the needles. So the nice long cord you can see. So I was able to switch over to that one and that's what I have so far. So you can see three pattern repeats. I am knitting the half hex. I've never knit a half hex. Sorry. Don't know that I ever will knit a half hex again. But um, I think the pattern itself is great. It is knit with bum, ba, da, ba, Madeline Tosh Merino Light in the Thicket colorway, which is a very like an inky purple black color. Um, I don't know what Thicket has to do. Do you have any idea what Thicket has to do with the inky purple black yarn? Anyways, um, I did get a couple PMs after my concerns last week that this would pill uh, since it is a single ply with lots of people telling me, don't worry, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you're going to love it. So it is a very soft yarn. Not as soft as the Dreaming Color Smushy with Cashmere, but Cashmere, 100% Merino, you know. I wonder what percent that is. Yeah, I'm not going to waste your time going to look for it. But anyways, so here's my serrated. I probably have another five or six hours to go, maybe? I don't know. There's a... Yeah, I have a little bit to go, but I love it. I'm using US size 6s. These are my knit picks. In case you ever wonder, I always knit with knit picks. Needles, because I love them muchly. And I think that's about all I have for you this week. Um, we're light on the roll-in content. I can tell you that I've been working with him on saying dada, because he says mom, mom, mom. Um, so first I got lala out of him, but I didn't tell Steve that. And then I shifted to trying to get him to say dada, but I made it into such a game that now when he says dada, he says dada, dada. <laughs> Like, okay, don't be so angry at Daddy. <laughs> but, yeah, and he's eating lots of cereal and his veggies and fruits and just being an adorable eight-month-old. Can you believe it? Eight months old. Time is flying by. Still just the two-tooth. Two-tooth. Two-teeth. Uh, we think that maybe this one's coming in, but I haven't seen any signs of it yet. So, that's what I have to say for this week. This time, not this week, this time. <laughs> I will see you again in about 10 days. Until then, enjoy your knitting and have fun. What are you doing, Rowan? What is he doing? He's trying really hard to pull himself up. Hi, Rowan. Look, look, look. Happy me.